member of the defensive side of the Indianapolis Colts, a man who was the rookie of the year last year, a man who was an all pro, but somehow didn't get voted in the pro bowl, a Q dog from South Carolina state, number 53, the maniac Darius Leonard joins us right now. Oh, look at the shirt. <laughs> look at the shirt. <laughs> He's wearing a for the brand shirt. I appreciate him. You just got out of meetings. How does the team feel after that massive victory against the Houston Texans in the AFC South? Um, definitely feels good, man. Definitely to get a win, especially a divisional game win. So we all feeling great, man. Looking forward to the next opponent now. You look like a real athlete on that pick to call game there at the end. That thing kind of just showed up in your hands, and then you wanted to go run with that thing. I mean, you go down immediately. The game's over. Everybody knows that. I'm assuming people are yelling at you to go down. Before you go down, though, you do a Roman Reigns fist. <laughs> Kenny Stills through the earth. Walk me through that last play. Oh, man, um, Coach got up a great defensive play, and um, I saw the ball as soon as it was tipped. I know I was in a – great position to make a play on it once I felt like I had possession of it and we always talking about score on defense and I got up and I know I had one man to beat and I know I got long arms so I went with a stiff arm and after I got done with the stiff arm man I looked by the sideline I see the whole sideline jumping up saying get down <laughs> like, right, it's over with I got down <laughs> uh, it was great to have you back uh, in the lineup you missed a couple weeks with uh, uh, concussion injury now you're back the team did well whenever you weren't in so everybody knew that when you got back in the team was only going to get better what did you learn from having to watch the Colts at home I'm um, how great our team is you know um, we always talk about the next man up mentality you know, we're, we're very focused on, on the game plan, and it shows no matter who's in the game or who's out the game, the next guy in will come up and do that 111 just to hold down hold down the team because, you know, you don't want anybody to to fail. So when they get in there, you know, they everybody's trustworthy, and that's what it shows that what kind of team we have. Why is Frank Reich such a good head coach? Nobody knew. He had never been a head coach before, right? So we had no idea what was going to happen. I think now the Philadelphia Eagles fans are realizing how important Frank Reich was to that organization. And now Colts fans are like, thank God this guy is back. He was once going to be a priest or something. I mean, he's, he has an incredible story. He seems to be an incredible leader of men. What makes him a good coach, though? What makes him relate to guys like you, guys like Quentin Nelson? Like, What makes Frank Reich such a good head coach? Um, for one, he's a former player, so he knows how the game goes. And for two, man, he cares. Um, that's the biggest thing. He cares about his players. And to see how much he goes for it on fourth down, to show how much he believes in the, believe in, um, in the locker room, believes in his players. So if you got a coach who trusts in you, believes in you, it's making it so much easier to go out and have fun and play for that coach. So is that how you guys react whenever you see him go for it on yeah. fourth? We love it, man. We, we love it when he goes for it. I mean, it shows that. He believes in us, and if he believes in us, that means we can go out and execute the game plan with no worries because if you got a coach that's saying, okay, I believe in this guy, I'm going to go out and make a play, you don't have to be scared or timid to go out there and say, okay, I can't mess up. He's a coach that, I mean, for one, he says when he mess up, he's not afraid to say, hey, that was a bad call, I did this wrong, and having a guy like that as, as the head man, you know, it's always great. That's so interesting because the defense could be on the wrong side of that if you don't pick up the fourth down conversion. But instead, on the flip side, you see a head coach that's willing to go for it and bet on his guys. That has to lift up everybody. Oh, yeah, man. Even even though if we don't get it, I mean, the defense is pumped. I mean, we want it in our hands. We want the offense to go for it. We want the defense to come out. We want to stop them. If it's at midfield or whatever, we always talk about sudden change. If the ball on a three-yard line, we're going to get a three and out, take away, make them, make them kick a field goal, and we're going to block the field goal. I mean, that's that's the mentality that we have as a defense. So it feels as if that building is a an incredible place to work, a good work environment. What are practices oh, yeah. like now? All I see is videos of you dancing from practice. All I see is videos of T.Y. Hilton having a good time. I feel like the Colts are a very fun place to be right now. It is, man. But like I said, it starts at the head man. I mean, when the head man can allow us to be ourselves, you don't have to be in the shell. I mean, that's what it is. I mean, everybody's comfortable, you know, going out, doing that job and having fun. And, you know, the biggest thing about playing the game, you got to have fun with it. And a coach have fun with it. And every single player goes out each and every day and have fun. And ever since Coach Frank got the Got Juice shirts last year, everybody wanted to bring the juice. Everybody wanted to bring the energy. And me being a guy who loves to have fun, loves bringing energy, I'm, I just love being, being with the coach. 
Well, I mean, you're a leader on the team and only your second year. That is very difficult to do, especially at a linebacker position where you're banging a lot. You're making a lot of plays. You have been an instant impact maker for a Colts team that is everybody is sleeping on. Everybody's sleeping on them. When I go on television and I start yelling in the cameras about me being <laughs> – I'm picking the Colts, it feels like everybody is, like, waiting for me to say I'm joking. It, it, it's a real – Inside that locker room, how good does it feel to know that not a single soul outside of Indianapolis has any belief or faith in the Indianapolis Colts? Oh, we love it, man. You know, we love being an underdog because I mean, that makes us just fight day in, day in and day out. I mean, we love being an underdog. We go in like that Kansas City game. We saw where nobody picked us to win. I mean, we, we love that. We love coming in as an underdog. We love stepping up to a challenge, and it proves week in, week out. You're a big time WWE fan. I didn't know that till recently. Did you enjoy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> did you enjoy Friday Night SmackDown? Did they take care of you? Oh yeah, they did, man. I, I was I was kind of upset when they tried to jump my dog Roman, so I almost jumped. <laughs> over there. They tried to help him out, so I had to, I had to control myself a little bit. <laughs> How long you been a WWE fan? All my life, man. It's uh, me, and my, me and my brother always grew up just watching it. They um, Monday, Tuesday, even when ECW was on Wednesdays, Friday Night SmackDown. So kind of grew up my whole life watching it. You know what's interesting is football. I think there's a lot more football players that are fans than people really think about it because you're a gladiator out there performing on a stage, and I I enjoy the way you play. I enjoy your celebrations. You think some of that comes from your WWE fanhood background? Oh yeah, because well, I mean, especially watching when I grew up watching DX, Shawn Michaels and Triple H, they always celebrated. You know, so it's always fun to kind of have a signature move like like they do. So it's definitely going out having fun, and then doing crazy stuff. I mean, that's, I mean, I see it all, all the time on TV, so I mean, I, I enjoy doing it. I'll tell you what, you're going to get quite a fine, but if you drop a suck it on somebody. <laughs> 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 uh, I appreciate you taking time out of your work day, man. Keep dominating, keep crushing, you're fun to watch. Welcome back, happy or healthy. Ladies and gentlemen, Darius Leonard. Thank you, man. No problem, thank you. Cheers, dude. 